all I wanted to do was fix my leaky sunroof. And I failed. You know why I failed? Because I bought a $37 seal from eBay instead of spending $124 for a Ford factory part. So we're gonna correct that today. Let's get this out of here. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, join me up here by the sunroof because all sunroofs have a lot of similarities. The glass is gonna be tied in with something. This is an F-150, but there again, they're all very similar. Now on the last video, if you watch that or if you need to, we took out the entire headliner, all the posts, everything to get this channel out this big metal track so that we could repair that because the whole sunroof broke and wouldn't open but while we did that we i replaced the seal because it was leaking and this new one is so much worse than the old one when you drive down the road it sounds like a giant sucking whistling chucky sucky sucky it's very bad so now i've got to take it back out and put that new seal on this is how you take out most sunroofs there's always going to be some attachment points on the side that's what we're gonna take out here. In this case, this is a T, T20. Yes, I nailed it. So four bolts, both sides. We get that out, we'll take it in the shop and I'll show you how we do it. So all you do on these, once you get those bolts out from the sides is it's usually easier to just push it up from the inside and then turn it and then lower it down into the vehicle and then take it out. Okay, once you get your sunroof off, bring it inside somewhere and get it set down on something with a cushion. So this is a yoga mat I used and a couple saw horses. When you put, if you use saw horses, don't set them up on the very outside because when you're pressing, because you got to put some pressure on this, you're going to be putting, you don't want to flex that and break your glass and don't put them too far on the inside where then you're flexing the outside or it flips up on you. So that's kind of the, what you want to do. Now, this is the old seal. It was getting really crusty and it broke a lot when I took it out. This is the replacement seal, the cheap one from eBay. And this is the one from Ford. And as I'm looking at this, there is definitely, you get this crap out of here, definitely a difference in this. If you look at this one, see how much give that one has? Look how much puffy this one has. I'll try that again, a lot more puffy than this one has. And that's what's not sealing, it's leaking along this whole edge. And you can tell which way this goes, because on the seal there's a short side, and there's a long side. Long side goes on the top, like the outside of the vehicle, and that short puffy side goes down along the bottom. Now when you take this out, you peel it. Let's see if I can do it with this hand. You kind of got to peel it, like grab the bottom and pull it up. See that? There we go. That's how you do it. And then I'll show you what the inside of this looks like. Pretty similar to this one, which is why I thought it was going to work. But it's actually, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of difference there. But that's not really where the, the main difference is. It's on that gap in the outside. But I am going to add one component and make it a little bit easier on myself. This is soapy water, and I'm going to spray that in the channel so that the rubber goes down there. Because when I did that before, that was really hard on my thumbs, and it, they hurt. It's been several days. It's been almost four days, and they still hurt. So this will make it easier. And there's like a puffy outside edge, right? So when you're trying to go, which way does this go on? Well, there's a flat side that's hard, rigid, and then there's a puffy um, edge, and that will go on the outside. So we'll take this off, and then I'll show you how to put this in and do this carefully because it doesn't want to come off without tearing and we don't know if we're going to need to redo that trim right here and i'm already tearing it because it's so brittle this little lip right here has to go in this channel right there it goes in that channel and then there's a, a lip that pops out here that's the hard part so this edge has to go down in there and then this trim goes over this lip and then that's what gives it this flat edge so if you don't get a flat edge right here you'll know you got a problem so now i've got this started i am going to carefully take it out just in case this is wrong it looks correct but that's what we're going to do so we're going to just slowly now that we got it started peel it out it really wants to break which means it's it's a good time to change this also before you put the new one in don't forget to clean it give it a good old scrub look how dirty that is coming off there just because when you put the new seal on, you want that to be, oops, <laughs> one hand is interesting. You want that to be really clean. Okay, that's how we change the other one out. Now on this new one, the only difference is we're gonna spray some of this sweet, 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 greasy, not greasy, soapy, but same effect, soapy water on there and that, that will help it pop into place. Trust me, and, and just get it in that groove. That's where you want it because that's where it's, you have to press the hardest to get that seal to go in. You'll thank me later. You have to press so hard straight down to get that in. That's what you're probably going to fight with. But now that it's in, we're going to let this sit in the sun 
I mean, it sits in your truck, right? So we're gonna let it sit here and we're gonna let it get really hot. And that was already warm. My, my thumbs are really bad. That was the worst part of the whole thing so far. Holy smokes. Sometimes I forget what, so you know how sometimes you forget what you already know? Look, remember how hard on that video, you just watched it was to put that in. Look how easy it is on this one with some soap. My gosh, do yourself a huge favor. Spray a little soapy water on that. I wrecked my thumbs and now I'm not even trying. Wonderful. Maximus is saying hello in there. Want to see him? Maximus. Who's out here? Oh my gosh, it's a pop. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> Max and Jack, thanks for saying hello. Maximus, the magnificent you are. He comes and goes like the wind. Sometimes he has the wind, you know what I'm saying? I wanna show you something if you're still having a little bit of trouble. Um, Cause corners are still a little tough to get in. And the trick with this is when you press that in, you roll it this way and down. So it's like in and down, okay? In and down. And what you can do is you can find something that's not gonna damage it. Move it over here. And you can just get it started. Corners are tough, right? Cause this first corner is not so bad, but the second one, you're trying to go around the corner. And you can do just that. You can press this in and down and you can kind of you can kind of cheat it. So I gotta get you off there because it's gonna flip out of there. But, but you can, there are little tricks to learn. But again, if it starts getting sticky, spray some more soap on there. It's working magnificently. That was so much easier than doing it the way I did before. Um, again, sometimes you forget what you don't know. One thing you can check as you go around this is the old line. See how right here I'm getting really wide? It means I probably don't have this all the way in on this because the new seal should be pretty close to that old line. So that's how you can go back along here and check to make sure you've got it in the groove. Cause you probably don't. I mean, I've got it in a lot of spots, but obviously right here I don't. So I'm gonna clean this again. And the other thing I noticed about this one over that cheap eBay is that the cheap eBay one I had to, it was really tight. I had to stretch the heck out of it to get it to go around it. This one, not so much. It feels like it was made for it. So there's our lesson on this one. I'm gonna finish checking that then we're gonna get in the truck and then we're gonna test that fit to see if the new one from the factory is better than the one from eBay. And it better be, right? So I'll finish this up and I'll meet you outside. One more thing to show you. At the bottom of these tracks, see a little hole right there in the corner again? That is the drain hole. Those drain holes run down and dump out underneath your vehicle somewhere. Sometimes people get those plugged up. Lots of times they plug up right at the top. Um, but not always. Uh, there are some videos that will show you to put air on them. You can see where I blew it through those just with my mouth. The last one tastes disgusting. You can see that right there. Yes, these. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes like Ford. <laughs> 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 but what that did is it told me they were open. Some people say take it, your compressor hose and put it in there. Man, you better be careful because if it's plugged up somewhere down the line here, it just pluck, it just, there's nothing really holding it on there. It's just a wedge fit. Sometimes it's a little clamp, but lots of times it's nothing. And you will blow that off. And if you do that, you gotta take down your headliner. So I would not do that. If you wanna check it, just get some water. I'll show you, just get some water, pour it in the track, and then wait to see if it drains out on the bottom. I'll show you right now. So when you hop up on top of your car, you're gonna pour down in, whoops, man, I'm so sorry. When you hop up on top of your car, you're gonna pour down in that channel, right? Right where the rain would basically run down. You can see how there's plenty of marks there. And you're gonna check in for two things. If it drains up here, that means it's not plugged up at the top, but it could be plugged up down below. So you gotta check both. Cause let's say it drained here and you're like, hey, hooray. But it's plugged up down there and over time as it rains, it backs up and then it leaks inside your cab. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna pour water, not ultra fast, but fast enough. Well, it's draining quick. Check it out. <laughs> draining like a champ, but we need to check both sides. I missed that one, some of that one right in the cab. Draining. Okay, great. And there we have it. Beautiful, okay. Here we go. Curve side forward on this one. Oh, frick. Tell you what, this one's much tighter than the other. This one is flopped in like a wet fish. This one actually feels like it's 
wanted to connect. Part of my track actually came unwedged. You can watch the video with that. This should drop in much easier now. That was good. I did not force that. Okay. Now we'll we'll start these and then we'll go up to the roof after we get these started and we'll do our adjustments. So put your screws back in, however they came out, only just enough to get them in. Can you even see me? Just enough to get them not snug, but just a little loose. Okay, now once you have that in, now you go to the outside and you hope that this looks much tighter than it did before. That is the, the goal, that is the hope. I have confidence that we did it. What you do is you just kind of press this up from the bottom, right on both sides. Oh yeah, it's so tight it's wanting to flex back and forth. All right, I'm gonna adjust that, but what you do is you gotta kind of get creative. You gotta move it like one hand on the inside and one on the outside until you see a nice even seal. And then you tighten it. I'll, I'll put the camera up top, but one hand's gonna be inside tightening the bolts. One hand's gonna be outside adjusting that, but it already feels significantly better. So I'm pretty excited about this. And you know, it's just basically closed position, right? So here, I'm just gonna line the top of the seal up and hold it from the inside. And remember these bolts are plastic. You're screwing, well, the bolts aren't plastic. The screws are metal, sorry, not even bolts. The screws are metal and they're going into plastic, so you cannot over tighten them. All right, now we'll do the other side, and we'll take it for a quick test drive and see if we got this. All right, well, the first step before the test drive is to see if it opens and closes properly. So put the old key in there, close that up because we locked it, and wait for the car to go by the loud diesel. That sounds pretty good. Now the real big one. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, let's close it though and make sure that that bar grooves. We didn't goof up any of that. Oh, that's a rear slider. <laughs> I'm too excited. I don't know what I'm pushing. Oh yeah, we got success. Okay, let's make sure nothing moved on the outside. It looks a little lower back here. See, I'm going to adjust that. The front still looks good, but... It's like the when we were jostling everything around the back, it wasn't down as low as I thought. So I'm gonna adjust that and then we'll go for a ride. Oh, it's still recording. Oh, that was lovely. That's a nice shot of my crotch, huh? Yeah, awesome. Okay, so we're driving now 45, 50. <laughs> I don't hear anything. You be my ears. Do you hear anything? Oh my gosh. Let's get up a little faster. 60, oh. Guys, God bless America. That's exactly what we needed this to do is not have any sound. Oh, well, I tell you what, I think that's probably about the last time I buy aftermarket seals because they never seem to work. I should have learned my lesson, but I didn't. But now I have, and you can avoid that problem. Don't buy aftermarket seals, buy factory seals. Listen, if you need to know how the rest of this comes apart, including seeing what those drains look like inside, Watch the last video. We'll link it at the end, like right there somewhere. Have yourself a great rest of the day. God bless you, and God bless America. It's a fist bump friendship. Whoop out.